Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And in today's video I'm not really gonna work on my truck just yet. That's gonna be something later. But today I'm gonna be testing out a new product that I got for myself. And what I got is this heavy duty dual air compressor by this company called Tazalas. I hope I pronounce it right, maybe, maybe not. This is a dual air compressor, so right now I have a, just a single cylinder air compressor, but this is a dual, so technically it should provide more airflow for my bigger tires, because with the compressor that I have now, especially when connected all four tires, it takes quite a bit time to fill them all up. It does the job, but it takes time. So let's just do a quick unboxing. All right, all right, it's quite heavy actually. So, from what I remember from my air compressor that I got, they all come pretty much with very similar bags, which, which is not bad. And there you go. We have our hose with analog mirror. Let's take this out from the back. We have a quick connect for the tires. I actually like this one. This looks pretty good. It grabs the the tire stem from all sides, this is pretty nice. You can use it to deflate the tires as well. And there you go, it comes with a carrying handle. Uh, this is different from my air compressor because my air comes on over here on the side. But since this is a dual setup, it has this hose that then later you connect to this hose and that's how you fill up the tires. It has an on and off switch, but it does not have a built-in tire air pressure switch but I guess it is what it is and of course it comes with uh, battery terminals which is pretty much standard on all air compressors I feel like so on paper it says it delivers up to 11.6 uh, cubic feet of airflow per minute but I'm gonna leave the link in the description in case you, in case you guys want to check it out just looking at it it looks like well built decently built hopefully uh, this looks like it's aluminum over here, so the whole, the main case is from aluminum. This, I think, is plastic, but this is just a cover for the motors, so sh that should be, shouldn't be bad. This part over here, it's made of aluminum, so that's good, it's gonna help with uh, dissipating the heat. Let me deflate the tire, and we're gonna try to fill it up, I'm gonna try to test it, how long it's gonna take to fill up the 35 inch tire to 35 psi. So I'm gonna deflate it to about 10 psi and of course you can use this as provided as a tire deflator so you plug this in and press this and it's gonna release the air it's gonna take some time because over here the airflow is a little bit limited but it will get the job done eventually all right let's check the tire pressure and we are pretty much at 10 psi 10.5 not too bad so now I'm gonna set up everything over here connect the air compressor and, we, and I'm gonna try my best to time it to see how long it's gonna take for dual air cylinder to fill up 35 inch tire to 35 psi. So the compressor is connected to the battery, the truck is running and we are connected to it. So now I'm gonna try to time myself how long it's gonna take it to fill it up to 35 psi. So I'm gonna flip the switch on and start it at the same time. <laughs> We're gonna stop it about one minute. Let's check the air pressure. And I need more. All right, let's check. We are, we are at two minute mark and 35 psi even. Not bad. Now the hose over here, it got a little bit hot, but that's to be expected from any air compressor. But the unit itself over here, it's not that hot, it's, it's a little bit hot, but you still can touch it. And the cables as well, they did not get hot or anything, so that's pretty good. So there you go guys, that was a quick test of this dual cylinder air compressor. It just worked as is expected. Now how long it's gonna work versus uh, some top brands, I don't know. So I cannot tell you that guys, but hopefully it's gonna work for a long time. But you never know, sometimes even the top brands can fail, right? Anything is possible. But no any means this is a bad air compressor, it does the job, it's great. 
it fills up the air much faster there's a single cylinder air compressor which took about uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds whereas this one took about 2 minutes maybe if I was to get used to it better it may be even faster or even if you replace the hose to a bigger gauge hose that will deliver more airflow where the other hose is kind of restricted how the air flows through it that's a big significance as well but you be the judge of that and you guys decide which air compressor you would rather have the one for over $600 or about $200 for this air compressor they both work so there you go guys that was just a quick unboxing and testing of this dual cylinder air compressor like I said it's an improvement from a single cylinder air compressor especially when you have all four tires are connected it's gonna pump up air faster in four tires versus even one tire therefore it's gonna decrease the time the air compressor is running so it's not gonna overheat the circuit's not gonna overheat as much so it's safer and you can actually use it on multiple vehicles if you if you air up your truck faster you can help your friend as well to air his truck up so as always i'm gonna leave all the links in the description in case you guys want to check this out or also let me know guys what kind of air compressor are you using and for how long you had it that's something also nice to know what air compressors how long they last i would really like to find that out so on this note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you might find it helpful, and as always, until next time, everybody, bye!